YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Finally, 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 I got some time to make this video, I guess. I promised long time ago and I just couldn't keep up. If I had time, you know, sometimes I forget and sometimes I, you know, <laughs> just do something else. But um, a lot of you had questions on my diet organization and I wanted just to show you step by step because it is really super easy and um, I don't use too many things. So let me just show you. I, <laughs> I showed you dyes before and um, you know, I haven't organized them. So I decided I will just go ahead and show you on one of my dyes. What I'm doing, because like I said, it is really easy. So all I do is I take a piece of paper. This is the cardstock from Michael's, which you can get for $2 or whatever it is. And if I find my paper cutter right here, I knew I put everything next to me. So <laughs> it has to be close. <laughs> And I believe, let me measure this once again, I do mine almost five by five. So I take a quarter off of it. That's easier for me to say I take something off of it because, you know, I'm not very good in inches. So what's wrong with you? Five. Almost. You have to see if you have the same bags or not. So, you know, you have to see about that. I use CD sleeves. They had a flap. I cut it off. So, you know, mine don't have a flap anymore because it's easier for me to take them out like this. All I did was I took my punch right here. And I tried to punch it because I need it a little, you know, when they are like this, then you have to fiddle around it and try to open it. I didn't want that. I wanted to be able to open it really quick. So can you see this? It has this. Yeah, great. You can see this much better now. You see what I mean, right? So all I did was on one side, I punched it. It didn't want to punch but it did make um, this shape, so I just took my scissors and cut it. And that's what I do. I will try. I do not have the packaging anymore of the CD sleeves. So first of all, I will try to insert the picture here. And if I can't, or whatever, I will try to Google this for you. It's really easy. You go to Amazon and you type in CD sleeves, you know, so. <laughs> they will pop up, but I will show you which one I got. I'm not affiliated. I'm not getting any money. There's nothing. So if the link is there and you want to buy something, nothing is happening to me. Nothing is happening to you. So this one happens to be a word and I die cut both. So I die cut whatever I will organize. And now I remember that I forgot to bring my storage um okay let me do this first and then i will show you i forgot my file folder want to turn around no i don't have it um handy i will show you in just a bit let me do this and then we will get there first of all i will take the piece of paper then i do have leftover magnets let me show you so those are from the dollar tree and I had a different um, organization earlier, but I didn't toss the magnets. I kept them. This is what I did before. I put it on cardstock, like um, packaging um, boxes, you know, when you get um, mail. But it was too thick. I didn't like it. So I didn't want to toss my magnets, of course. So I would just rip the magnets back off. And this is the back. Dollar Tree Locker Magnets. I don't know. I heard people say that um, they don't have them, but I'm pretty sure back to school they will have them. So it's not long. You can also buy, I heard I have never bought them, so I can't tell. You can go to Home Depot or whatever and buy 
vent covers and you will get magnets, a big sheet of magnets, you know, you can use that. Whatever you think, you know, maybe you do have magnets at home, you know, I don't know. But I just keep a sheet, you know, and um, I had like leftovers from my cuts and whatever. I do not do the full, the full thing anymore because I do not like it. I don't like too much on it. You know, if I have a strip and I only have, let's say, two magnets or whatever, they will stay on there. I don't really need more. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking a strip of a magnet and I will just use double-sided paper in the back. At the beginning, I did use double-sided paper right on my paper. But somebody told me, and she was right, that after a while, it will come off and, um, you know, not be that nice anymore. So I decided I will just proceed and put them on the magnet. And when the time comes for the ones I put right onto the paper and they start to fall off or whatever, I will just, you know, one by one put magnets on them. So and that's all I do. I will just stick a strap right in the middle here. And now I can put my dies right there. As you can see, they are good. They are not falling off, you know, so I can just take them and they are not going to go anywhere. Now, let me very quick grab my folder so you can see more. And it actually was right here. I just didn't see it. So I do have this binder. It is not finished. I put it away. I have to take it to my room today and finish it because I did not make dividers yet as you can see, but also I was not crafting, so I didn't need my dice yet. <laughs> but you can make this or you don't make this, it's up to you. But I did die cut all of mine and I organized them by, um, those are just my categories. You know, I have animals and indoors, outdoors, whatever it is. So let me see, because I don't have the dividers yet. It's a little bit harder for me to find the alphas, but I also didn't have sleeves. I believe my daughter got me sleeves, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to finish this up today. I'm just trying to look for my alphas right now. And because I have so many dies and I do not have dividers on there, it's kind of harder for me. Okay, so my next task <laughs> is going to be making dividers. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, is it dead? Yeah, this is outdoors. Let me find this real quick and not waste your time. All right, so right here, those were my alphas. <laughs> I had to check once again. Right here, I have my alphas. As you can see, there are not that many, but um, I have um, them on a sheet of paper. Now, I also have the coordinating dies right here, and it has alphas on it. And my last one is C1. So, I will know which one I have to do now. I only put them in front, so I don't do it double-sided. Now, before you ask, this container is from Ikea. This is the number and the name. I will try to Google this for you and, you know, just um, see if I can find it at Ikea and put a link into my description. So this is the container. It fits most of my dies. So it fits all of my dies. A couple of them are longer, so they will stick out, but it does fit all of them. The container is, I will just go ahead and measure it. The inside is six and a half. So the part where you can put something in, it's six and a half. And then how long is this thing? Around eight and a half. But only the inside part, yes? So the one you can put in there. 
So now, since I have done this part, I have to put my um, alphas in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just using a little bit of double-sided tape. And actually, I would use my tape runner. I'm going to do it with the next one. I just use a tape runner for that. And I'll just stick it on the same sheet of paper here with the rest of my alphas. Where's my tape runner? Right here. And I will go ahead and put this part on top. And because I will stick it into a sleeve, it doesn't matter. Okay. And this has two parts to it. So I'm going to just put a two in the back. Since my last die was a C1, this will be called Alphas C2, okay? The same thing I'm going to write on the top right side right here, Alphas C2. So it's coordinating to your storage. Okay, you can use whatever um, you want to put this in. You can use a smaller one. You can use a bigger binder. I don't know. This one is enough for me. So this, I put in a sleeve and I put where my alphas are so I can always find it. This part, I'm going to put into the CD sleeve, you know, just so it's protected and it's not falling off or anything right so now if i'm crafting right and let's say i messed up my dies how do i know where they go i can always take my binder and look find this and see where in which pocket it goes okay so it's always coordinated now i would take this one I would find my alphas right here and I will go to C2 and put it in the back. So that's where it's going to be stored. Now those, it's just packaging. So I took a piece of packaging. I don't remember cornflakes or whatever it is. I cut it to the size I wanted. So you will have to cut it to the size you want. And I just made tabs. So I have a tab punch board, but you don't need that. You can just cut off and then cut off here, right? I covered it with paper. This one was like on sale or whatever at Joanne's. I can't tell you anymore. This is just normal paper. I covered it from both sides and I thought it's, it's just a little bit colorful. I like it colorful. So I always put five pockets for one letter. So I don't get, you know, I don't have to look too much. If you put like 20 pockets without letters and you just number them, let's say you need to find the pocket 24, you will have to go through them all. But since I only separate by, um, only have five in each, most I have to go through is five. So it's quicker for me. So I will go like that. Also, I can either check in my binder like if I'm looking, let's say I'm crafting here and I would like to see what words I have, I can go ahead and I can just, you know, check in my binder, open alphas and see, okay, I have this and I have those. Mm, what do I want to use? I also have this one in my alphas because it's alphas and numbers and notes. Do you call them notes in English? I'm not sure. But yeah. This I know where to look for, right? So if I look through my binder and I see this happy birthday and I like it a lot, I can always um, see where I can find it, you know? So if I go, this says alphas, oh, sorry, alphas A1. This is my dog's hair. <laughs> He wants it to be in my binder. <laughs> okay, whatever. Alphas A1. And I have a nine in the back, so I know that there are nine different ones. So, Alphas A1 is the happy birthday. So, I will go in here 
and grab A1 and I have my happy birthday right there. As you can see, this sheet is bigger because I had more words to put on it. Sometimes the sheets are bigger, like this one. Sometimes I just have to straps because I really don't need more, right? So I can look through my binder and see. But if I'm die cutting something and let's say I'm thinking, oh, hey, I could just put a banner on it as well, but I don't want to go somewhere, take my binder and look through my binder. I will also see right here, there are the banners so I can actually flip through them as well. Either way, I will find my die, you know, so it's both. It's over there on my table and it's where my die cutting station is, which is very easy for me to handle. It is for me. I don't know if it will be for you or it will be not. So you have to tweak it however you like it. Okay. Let me think about it. Did I tell you everything? So I used my label maker for this because somebody asked me for the font. I do not remember. Just look in your label maker, you know, if you make a label. So that's that. I used my punch board. This is memory keepers to make the tabs. I used the sleeves from Amazon. I used the paper from Michaels. And I think that should be it, you know, for you to have all the information. Because you had so many questions, I hope I answered them all now. You know, I can gladly if... Um, you want to we can make another one but i don't want to like spend too much time here making something i think i'm going to just make it by myself <sighs> because i do have a couple more that i have to organize but i really don't want to like waste your time with that i just cut it down to f almost five i think it's four and three quarters stick it in there put a magnet on top put my die in there Put the cut out so the die cut into my binder and I'm done. I number it and I put it into my storage. I hope that is understandable. If not, just leave me a comment and ask me and I will see what I can do. Like I said, I will try to find them and the containers and put them into my description. So go ahead and read my description. You can probably even order those from Dollar Tree. I know you have to order in bulk, but if you have a lot of dice to organize, you can just order 10 of them or whatever it is. Also, some of my sleeves did go apart because I used them with a thicker one for a long time. And I just put some tape on top and it holds it well. So there's nothing happening to anything. I hope this answered all of your questions. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not very good at teaching, I know that. So like I said, if you have questions, ask me again. And um, if you liked it, as always, thumbs up, share, subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. So bye-bye for now.